Even though that I love the Jack and Daxter series, I wasn't entirely afraid of another PlayStation 2 series, Sly Cooper. I wanted to give it a chance after hearing great things. I finally got that wish when I was acquired Sly 2 Band of Thieves. One question remains, did it or did it not live up to my expectations? Well, let's take a look. That Constable Mila was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue. Either way, it's our only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Sly Cooper and his buddies Bentley and Murray break into a museum in Cairo to steal the clockwork parts. But they find out that the parts are already stolen. And to make things worse, Sly is caught by Carmelita Fox and her partner Constable Neela. Neela reveals that the parts were stolen by a new band of villains called the Clogging. Sly manages to escape before being captured. So it's up to Sly and his two buddies, Bentley the Brains and Murray the Brawn, to find the clockwork parts and defeat the Claw Gang. Yeah, the plot is similar to the first game, but what I like is that it goes into more depth of Clockworks and his hatred of the Cooper family and Sly's determination to take him down once and for all. The other thing is that there's a good amount of plot twists. I won't spoil everything, but I will say one thing. There is one on Neela, and if they could trust her. With those two intact, I think Sly 2 has a really good story, and I'm happy with that. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Easy does it in here, huh, pal? <laughs> Sly 2's gameplay differ from Sly Cooper and the Thetheus Raccoonus. To start things off, the game has a main hub area, and the progress is done by completing missions. Once all the missions are complete, the game proceeds to perform a big operation where there are two goals, retrieve the clockwork part, and defeat a member of the Claw Gang. Sly retains his main abilities control-wise from the first game, like the Rail Rock and the Rail Slide, etc. But this game also grants Sly the ability to pickpockets unsuspected guards and steal special goodies such as rubies, diamonds, gold watches, and so many more. Sly can get new abilities by collecting a certain amount of coins and purchasing them on ThiefNet and finding 30 bottles in the main hub. Once all the bottles are collected, a wave point will direct Sly to a safe. Once the code is cracked, Sly will be granted with a power-up. To be more sneaky, Sly walks around the hub but yet he could still run, but you have to hold down the R1 button to make him run. Not only Sly is playable, but you can also play as his two buddies. Bentley, who can use sleep darts to knock out guards, use bombs to kill them, and destroy structures. Plus, being a tech whiz, he can hack into computers, which pulls a little hacking minigame. And Murray, the strongest of the three, he can take out guards faster with his punches. He can also pick up objects and guards and throw them. To switch characters, you have to make your way to the safe house and select the character you need. The game replaces the life system with health bars, and also an orange bar indicates when a gadget is used. Once the bar is empty, the gadget can't be used. But you can replenish the bar and health by collecting red health bars. But with all that stuff, there are some things I don't like. The controls on Sly, Bentley, and Murray are good, but the other control schemes I have a problem with. I didn't like the hacking missions because of the fact that in order to aim and shoot, you have to use the right analog stick, which is really annoying. Then there is the tank, where you have to use both analog sticks to steer, which was a major pain in the ass. The turret missions weren't a favorite of mine either. To me, they turned out to be tedious and also boring. Same with the dancing missions. But with them, I'd rather watch it than play it. Then there are some missions that were frustrating, including in episodes Jailbreak and A Tangled Web. An example would be Mojo Trap Action, which you have to beat the mission without getting hit once. Oh, and the photo missions are pretty redundant. 
combat isn't very solid, as you can be a victim of a cheap shot by the large guards. They can even fire projectiles that aren't easy to dodge. The replay value is also poor. If you beat the game and if you want to replay a mission, you have to start a new game. But Sly 2's gameplay still remains pretty strong despite its issues. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. What's going on down there? Looks like Spice Production has fallen behind! Having the hub set at night is a really big help with the stealth part of the game. That plus it works in the element of platforming seeing that Sly can grab bars and hooks, walk on ropes, and do his ninja spire jump. The hubs allow Sly to make different route points towards the waypoint to begin the mission. While the hubs work for Sly, I cannot say the same for Bentley and Murray. To get on rooftops with Bentley and Murray, you'll have to find a different way to get up, which can be pretty tedious. But when it comes to finding the bottles, the hubs can range from easy to tricky to pretty damn hard. The animated cutscenes are pretty good, as it goes for a cartoon slash comic book art style, and they fit into the game pretty well. Even with the tricky design, Sly 2 does a good job on the presentation. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. To be honest, I don't think that the music is one of the bigger factors in the game, but I will admit that the music is pretty good. The tunes fit into the areas very well, and some turn out to be really catchy. An interesting part is that there is also a change of tone on the tracks when you are spotted by the guards. And of course... The sound effects are pretty basic, but I like the fact that when you kill a guard, an onomatopoeia shows, and a sound that sounds like the noise from the 1960 Batman series. I gotta admit, the voice acting in this game is really good. Sly Bentley and Murray's voice actors reprised their role, and they did a really great job fitting the characters. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. Sly's knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way! And speaking of Murray, I thought Murray in this game was a massive improvement over the first game. Instead of being a coward, he's now a tough guy known as The Murray. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. And I like that they gave Neela an accent when she speaks. I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. 
And Carmelita's voice isn't all that bad in this game. Although I thought she didn't have an aggressive feel to it. Considering the fact that she chases a bloody raccoon. What? How? Who could have? What? Cooper! So the music is decent, so is the sound, and the voice acting is really good. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Hmm, I wonder who else would say that? Sly 2 Band of Thieves is an enjoyable game. Even though it has some really frustrating missions, tricky level design at certain points, and weird control schemes in certain vehicles, everything else is really good. The game's controls are pretty good, Sly, Bentley, and Murray's gameplays are really fun, and pretty much it's just enjoyable all around. Any PS2 owner should get this game, or any PS3 owner should get the Sly Collection. It's an easy recommendation, and it's greasy sweet. Hey, come back here, Ringtail! I'll find you, Cooper! Alright, so my rating for Sly 2 Band of Thieves is- Wait a second, where the hell are my medals? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, it's a good thing I had spare medals. Anyways, my rating for Sly 2 Band of Thieves is... A gold medal. Chaos Blast! <laughs>